mentioned on my channel once or twice how my husband is keeping a sort of paleo type diet. It's not like textbook paleo, but basically paleo. Did I say the word paleo? So today I thought I would share with you a few of the meals that I've been making for him that he has been loving that are low carb, gluten free, wheat free, dairy free, but not flavor free. <laughs> First up, I use this handy dandy Vegetti. Yes, this is the Vegetti, an as seen on TV product that you might have seen infomercials for, where you spiralize, I guess it's called, you spiralize vegetables into long, thin, what would be considered like spaghetti type fake noodles. I buy zucchini or squash. Um, those are best to use with this. And you just twist this and it comes out like long spaghetti noodles. I toss them in the steamer. I steam them for a few minutes so that they soften up a little bit. And then I pour Trader Joe's roasted garlic marinara sauce on top with some grilled chicken breasts. And it is so good. My husband requests this meal, honestly, about once a week. He never gets sick of it. And if you're like me and you're not keeping exactly paleo, then you just dump a bunch of cheese on top of it and make it even better. Another meal we've been loving in my house involves this organic coconut flour from Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's just has the best stuff, you guys. They're not paying me to do this. I am not sponsored by Trader Joe's. Just a fan. Hey, TJ, could you make your parking lots bigger? Thanks. It's literally just organic coconut. That is the ingredient. Pounded down, pounded. They just pound that coconut right down. And then I just followed the instruction for this oven fried chicken on the back. You buy a bag of potato chips, which technically if you're keeping hardcore paleo, potatoes are okay, not great, but the oil that potato chips are usually cooked in are off the table. This says use six chicken pieces, thighs, wings, breast, but I like to buy chicken tenders. And then you bread them with a mix of this coconut flour and crumbled up potato chips, and they come out really crispy and delicious. It's super easy and super healthy. I don't have a great visual for my third favorite meal except for this bag of lettuce which has started to go brown, so don't buy brown lettuce. But with these lettuce wraps, I've been making lettuce wrapped salmon tacos. If you wanna make a homemade salsa, you can cut up some pineapple and mango and tomatoes and I don't know other ingredients because I don't make my own salsa, but I'm, I'm assuming you can find something online. I've been buying the pineapple salsa from Trader Joe's, which has sugar in it, so my husband can't have that. He just has a regular salsa that doesn't have sugar in it, but you gotta read salsa labels, guys, because a lot of salsa has sugar in it. Why? Why do we need sugar and salsa? I don't know, they put sugar in everything. So there you have it. Salmon tacos, oven fried chicken, and fake vegetti with chicken. Those are the three favorites in my house currently. If you are keeping low carb, if you've cut out gluten, if you are trying to do paleo, if you're no longer eating sugar, try one of these. Send me a comment below if you want more info. I'll send you a recipe if you'd like. Ooh, how about that? You guys, I post videos every single Friday, so please be sure to subscribe. Also, if you haven't checked out my new podcast, First Timers, go to your iTunes podcast and check it out. Um, it's funny, I think, it's me and my friend Julie. My friend Julie and I chit-chatting about first-time parenting stuff. And I will see you guys next Friday. Bye.